So a YouTube viewer, Fabulous01, wrote in and said, I have a word problem that says how many pieces of six and one-fourth feet long can be cut from a 200-foot roll of wire. Can you make and post a vid about these type of word problems? So Fabulous01, here goes. I'll give it a shot. What I'd like to do with this type of problem, and this is an important problem because this is the type of problem that is going to show up on those tests that you have to pass to graduate from high school, so knowing how to do this is a good thing. And it's actually pretty easy uh, once you know the, the method. But what I'd like to do is start by visualizing a simpler problem. Let's say we had a 10-foot length of wire, and we wanted to cut it up into pieces that were 3 feet long. Well, you could probably visualize this pretty clearly in your head. You'd have one, two, three. there's a piece, one, two, three, there's a piece, one, two, three, there's a piece, and you'd have one little foot left over. Three pieces of three feet, three times three is nine, plus one left over. So the answer to that one would be three. But how do you do that when you've got numbers like six and a fourth and 200? You can't really do that in your head very easily. Well, the thing to know is that this is really just about division. When you do these problems, you take the whole and you divide it by the length that you're cutting it up into. So if I had done this problem, I could have done this problem as 10 divided by 3. What you get when you do that is 3 with 1 left over, or 3 and 1 third. Let's try it with these numbers. It would be 200 divided by 6 and 1 quarter, and I think the easiest way to do this, if you have a calculator, would be to convert the 6 and 1 quarter into a decimal. Maybe you know that's 0.25, the decimal part. If you don't know that, you would just punch in a 1 divided by 4 on your calculator, you'd get 0.25. So we're going to take 200 and we're going to divide it by 6 and 1 quarter, 6.25, and we get 32. Now, if you don't have a calculator or your teacher um, wants you to um, do it without a calculator and show your work, there's another method. You could do this with fractions. I guess what I would do first, if I was going to do it that way, is convert this uh, mixed number into an improper fraction. And remember to do that, I would multiply the, the number here by the denominator. 6 times 4 is 24. And then add it to the top. I'd get 25 fourths. And then we would want 200 divided by that. And maybe you remember from your work with fractions that to divide by a fraction, you actually multiply by the reciprocal. So this would be multiplied by 4 fifths. And then when you take a number and you multiply it by a fraction, you multiply by what's on top, divide by what's on the bottom. If you do that, you'll find you get 32. Let's look at one more. How many 2 and 1 third inch lengths of ribbon can be cut from an 80 inch roll of ribbon? So again, this is just going to be 80, our whole number, our total length here, divided by the size of the pieces we want, 2 and 1 third. Now, in this case, um, one-third is one of those irrational, well, it's not irrational, but it's repeating. It never ends. You, it would be 2.3333333. And if you punch that in your calculator, 80 divided by 2.3333333, uh, you'll, you'll get a close enough answer. I think I'm going to do this one with um, multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction. So first, I'm going to take this, um, this mixed number and convert it to an improper fraction. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So that's 7 thirds. So that's 80 divided by 7 thirds, and that is the same as 80 times 3 sevenths. And I'm going to multiply by 3 and divide by 7. I think I'll do that on my calculator. So 80 times 3 divided by 7. And I get 34.28, etc., etc. And you just need to know that when you have this, etc., um, that's the leftover stuff. And the answer is not going to be point anything. The answer is going to be the 34. And the rest is left over because that rest doesn't add up to a two and a third inch length. So hopefully that helps Fabulous01 and probably will help some others who run across this one too. Send me more questions if you've got them.